Oh, okay. It says 585, which 585 is 14 karat. If that's 14 karat, that's got some weight to it. We got the truck back here at the store and I've got this bag right here I want to look at. This is the one that had the um, 14 karat gold bracelet and potentially more jewelry in it. But we're going to crack this thing open and see if we got a little jackpot right here in this bag. Alright, this is the bracelet that we've already seen. My gosh, just comes jumping out of there. But it's 14 karat. I haven't tested it, but I'm just looking and I mean, it just, it looks really good. Everywhere that I look, it looks real. As soon as I saw it before I ever even saw the markings, but it's right there marked 14 K. All right, we got a couple little jewelry box. Well, that's not a jewelry box. Never mind. Here's a jewelry box though. This is not gold, but what is this? Okay, a little, um, we got Jesus and it's like, you know, in the world is it falling apart or okay that was something separate that was just kind of there all right now we're gonna get we're gonna open this and look that one looks like it's gonna be good is there other stuff maybe let's see there's another jewelry box what is this here bracelet oh okay it says 585 which 585 is 14 karat if that's 14 gear, that's got some weight to it. Definitely have to tell. I mean, it looks good. I don't see, I see some scratches, but it's just gold in there. And a lot of times if you see scratches and then it's kind of black or discolored underneath, you know, obviously if you see wearing, like it looks like paint wearing off, then that's, you know, that's just gold plated at best. What else is down in here? That just kind of, it was like a makeup brush and some other stuff in there. Here's an Eddie Bauer box. It's got some kind of pearl type jewelry here. It's kind of got starfish and stuff on it. it. Looks like a little set necklace and bracelet, probably. Costume jewelry there. Girl Scouts Journey of a Lifetime. All right, we've got nice little this costume, but it's nice. Bracelet, bracelet. Here's a Aqua Sports watch. Oh, here we go. This is a. Oh, this is kind of cool. It's a keychain, but it's got a um, uh, Eisenhower dollar on it. So that's cool right there. All right, we're trying to see what, everything we have before we get to this, which that may end up not being nothing, but we'll see. All right. Fine gold jewelry. Okay. This looks like gold right here. Definitely looks like gold and it's got a it's got a mark in there. This is definitely gold. It's just a matter of whether it's 10 karat or 14 karat or even something different. This looks gold too. Um what does that say? It might be 925, it might be silver. I'm thinking that's actually silver there. So that's probably silver, I believe. This right here. Okay, I think that's silver also. That's nice. So these two appear to be silver. This may be silver also. I don't think it's gold because I see too much where this is. This may not be silver or gold right here. I could tell that. Uh, looking at it, let's see what this is. We've got a couple some charms on it. It's got some little stone charms. It's got one missing there. What is it? Don't know if this is gold or anything. I don't see markings on that. So those two I don't think are anything. Uh, this may be silver here. Uh, oh, it says 14 carats. That might be white gold. If that's so, that's nice it looks very nice so those two gold that's gold i'm pretty sure this is probably gonna be gold because it's so thin 
this is a lot of the you know gold that you'll find is these really thin necklaces and bracelets okay there's not a clasp but that's the marking but i'm pretty much positive that's gold but i will have to test it and then right here this looks like gold and yep it is 10 karat is what it's marked and you can it almost positive it's gold all right anything else down in here before we do that other case but right now i mean look gold gold this is all gold right here and we got oh and this potentially if so that's a lot of weight and gold so far if all of that is indeed real which pretty much looks the part okay this is full of phones phones some of them are um cracked i mean very cracked they're all it's like all their old phones in there apparently passport and have to look in there see if maybe any gift cards or anything there's something else in here keys maybe keys okay and there's a curling iron memory card all right i think that's going to be it in there so let's look how he looked in that all right we're going to check this case out now or box sorry jewelry box all right looks like there's potentially no i don't actually i don't think any of that's going to be gold most likely but i'll have to look at it closer have to look closer um don't think so on that either but i'm going to look at it closer here in just a second just seeing if there's anything that kind of looks obvious which none of this may be in here let's see I don't know, it looks like a lot of costume. But the thing is that we found some, there could potentially be, you know, there's a lot of boxes that we didn't even cut the tape off. This right here, that's most likely gold. Okay, now these earrings, these are uh, 14 karat. So 14 karat, is there another one? I thought there was a match, there it is. 14 karat, but yeah, there could potentially be more that we just, you know, haven't seen more jewelry in general. This is going to be gold too, so several of these earrings, that does not match that. I don't even see a match for that. Um, let's see. This right here. Uh, hmm. I think this is too, the, I'm not 100% on this. The marking is kind of hard to see. It doesn't really look like it, but I don't think that is. I don't see any markings. The color doesn't look right on those. Okay, here's another one of this. Maybe I can see more clear. There's a there's a marking right there on it. It may be. It's just the mark is very. It's kind of hard to read. It's just kind of strange looking. Like the the style that they used, I guess. The font, whatever, whoever whoever's made the stamp. Okay, I don't think that is. Okay, so we found a couple gold pieces there. Let's. Do a quick check on these real quick. Well, that's okay. I know where that went. And right in here. Don't really think that may be silver. Okay, I don't think any of this is. I don't think any of the rest of it is, but sometimes when you pull it out, you find other stuff that you can't see initially like other pieces that are kind of hidden like this is not and let me check here real quick oh, I guess it was already open no somewhere or another it opens let's see I mean this is gold color but don't really think any of this is gold it's not really much at all not even much in the way of the costume there so I think that's the earring that went away and just picked it up i don't think that's anything either but some you know there is some costume stuff there and then we have all this right here is gold potentially a couple these the color doesn't look right or nothing but it does have a marking so i don't think so but i'll have to check them um i'll have to definitely test these out those are silver those are nice cool little keychain there so not bad at all what is that there let's see anymore i don't think that is there could be a piece of silver or two there 
kind of want to test this out too. I don't think so, but just to make sure. But not a bad little find there on the jewelry. Oh yeah, I keep if this thing's real, this is good. This thing's got weight to it. But I don't know. Actually, oh, okay, here we go. I didn't see this side. This is a, it says 585, which would be 14 karat Cartier. This is a Cartier bracelet. Very nice. If it's 14 karat gold, if it's solid 14 karat gold, man. Like I said, it's got a good bit of weight. So don't know if that's accurate or not. The only weird thing is it's not in like a Cartier box. So I don't know if they stuffed it in here or it's fake or what. But we'll see. Some of this definitely looks 100%. Most of it looks all the way real just from looking at it. But not a bad find here in the laptop box. All right. We just got finished unloading all of that stuff off the truck. Man, hot and sweaty is an understatement for sure. You know, earlier we had found this gold right here and some other jewelry. But we just found these two bags here. We unzipped this one and down in there we saw a couple of jewelry cases and... We're gonna set it to the side and you know like when we get done we're gonna look through this first right away and I think Ann said this thing right here kind of felt heavy like there might be something in it yeah she said that it felt like there was a box and there is a wooden jewelry box there so we're gonna check both of these out and if this is any indication I mean we might these might turn out good right here because we already found quite a few pieces of gold let's look and see all right we're gonna start with this bag right here with the jewelry box in it I think that's all that's in this pur this purse. It's an old purse. Yep, I don't see nothing else. The purse is all peeling. It's a fake Gucci, but it's all peeling to pieces. But let's see what we might have in this old wood jewelry box here. All right, right here on the top, we have a butterfly. It's broken, though. Butterfly pin. This right here. kind of slightly looks like it could be gold sometimes it's hard to a little bit harder to tell when it's older because the color looks so weird but I'm not 100% on that that's just one of those things that I might test just to see all right this doesn't look like anything but this chain could be well uh, no I don't think this chain is anything all right don't think that's anything now but this one right here definitely looks like it could be real let's see it has Definitely has some markings on it. I'm pretty sure this is some kind of gold. Okay, there I can see it. 10 carat. So there's a 10 carat chain. It is broken in the middle, but definitely scrap. Which is what I do with a lot of it anyways. Not everything, but a good amount of it. This right here. Um, what does that say? Sterling. It's like an old little award deal there, but it does say it's sterling. Here's another one from a Catholic high school. Don't think that's anything, but I'd probably test this out. I'd probably test these two out right there. And in remembrance, Italy of my confirmation. Okay, I'm not really seeing anything else right there. Piece of a Casio watch. Oh, we got more stuff down in here. What is this? this wooden piece no I think it's several pieces that looks too too yellowy don't think that's anything and now this one right here looks good and this one is marked 10 carat um, that one does not look like it's anything this one maybe still looks kind of a little too yellow I think but Sometimes you do have a little bit different tones. I would test that out. I don't think this is anything. Man, whole bunch of pieces in here. I think a lot of this is not real gold. These are all, all this kind of looks really similar as far as the color goes. Now this one right here does look good. This, it's a tangled mess. I have to untangle it. But this one here with the cross. And... Don't see anything right off hand. Oh, there we go. 14 karat on that cross. That chain right there is gold, but it's tangled up with this other stuff, so I have to untangle that. But this one right here is gold. Are you gonna work on it? 
All right, other than that, um, we got some pearl looking stuff. That kind of looks silver. Is that everything in here? What is in here? That's usually like the music box would be in there. Okay, I think that's everything out of here. So we did find a couple, two gold chains and three of them once you get the one Ann has and a couple maybe pieces, but I don't think so. This looks like it could be sterling. I think this is sterling right here. That's pretty nice looking. All right, let's move over to this other bag. This one has a lot more, like more stuff in it. Whether it's anything or not, I don't know, but... Look at this thing. And this has... Oh, we got foreign money. Well, I see a $2 bill in there. Alright, um, Barbados. Barbados. This is all Barbados. This is, um, here's a couple of American $2 bills. $2 bill. $2 bill, 1995. Oh, that's a 1976 $2 bill. It's in a little bit older one. And then I think this is Mexico, Bank of Mexico. Yep. And then as far as the coins, it looks like mostly, yeah, like foreign. That's Italian. A peso. There's a Chuck E. Cheese token. <laughs> um. Cinco pesos, so all kind of foreign money. Up oh, there is a one dollar. Up oh, there's two dollars on the Susan B. Anthony's right there, and that's what that is foreign money there. And then down in here is this. Um, these are more tokens. They're Chuck E. Cheese. Malibu Grand Prix. There is another one dollar in there, a newer one dollar coin. Up oh, there's an Indian head penny. 1863. Nickel. Mostly some a couple of nickels and some tokens. And then right here we got just like just some random change. Quarters and stuff. And they're not. It's like 1997. So just kind of some loose change there. And then What's in here? We got some Kennedy half dollars here and a quarter, but a couple Kennedy half dollars and, and another Susan B. Anthony. All right. Falcon of Bull. I don't know what that is. You know what Falcon of Bull is, Am? Never heard of that. Okay, I guess it was a watch or it is a watch. Yeah, Falcon of Bull doesn't look like anything too special. Uh oh. This is a Rolex box. We've got the Rolex box down in here. Oh yeah. So we got the actual cardboard box here. I don't know, is that supposed to come open? Yeah, I think it does because that folds down. Oh ho ho. I think this thing's real. It's still it's still running. Look. It's still running. Mm -hmm. yeah. Still running. Rolex Oyster Perpetual Date. Um, superlative chronometer officially certified. Top quality genuine leather. So, the only thing is, it kind of has, a, they're supposed to, okay, I'm not, a, I'm not an expert by any means on Rolex. I know they're normally, I think they're supposed to like sweep. This does have like a little bit of a slight tick to it. I don't know if that's normal or, or what on any of the Rolexes, but I don't know. We will have to, we might have to go get this checked out, Ann. There you go. We might have to actually go get something checked out. But it's got the box, the box and the and the box, two boxes. The box? Maybe, maybe the way it opened. Yep. You used to be able to sell Rolex boxes on eBay for a lot of money and 
Last time I checked, you couldn't. That might have changed, but they kind of, for at least for a while, they put a stop to that. But all right, this right here is we got a little stone here, a little stone pendant. Okay, let's see what this is. Probably silver. Could be white gold though. What does that say? I see a marking on it. Um, hmm. Very small. I can see it. it looks like it says 925, but it's really, really small. And right there it says um, 190. And then right there it looks like it says 295 in Italy or something. So I think that's silver. Oh, we got a few more cases in here. Hermes Paris. Ooh. All right. So I know this stuff can be pretty expensive. I don't know if, how exactly. Okay, I think you go over and then up. If I don't break the thing. Okay, hold on. I see. This moves over. You go in and then that locks in place. All right, so we got the box and everything on this. That could be a little chunk of change. All right, I told Ann, I was like, there's no rings in this jewelry over here, which is kind of weird. So let's see if we have a ring here. Oh, and we do. This is like, is it a class ring or a military ring? Let's see. I mean, it's like, it's kind of worn off the finish. It's been, it was worn so much. Okay, it's a high school ring. I can see where it says high school. And I can't quite read something good high school. We got some initials there and what does it say right here almost looks like it, i think it says 10 carat it almost looks like 18 carat it's a little bit worn in there also could be 18 karat gold potentially but i think it's i think it's probably going to be 10. all right here's another ring box it's empty though look underneath there. there's nothing in there okay we got another ring box let's see it's empty so you know what? We could still find more jewelry in this unit. You never know. And I wonder if this goes in that Rolex box. It may go in there. All right, and what do we have here? That's a 14 karat gold, but I don't think this is what originally came in here. This looks like sterling silver. It says, sterling forget me not, sterling forget me not, all over there. And then what does it say on here? Uh. Teresa, it's got names on it. Teresa, Joe, mother, dad. Okay, it's got like the whole family on here, I guess. But that's sterling silver. Yeah, I think this goes with the watch. It makes sense. It's the same, yeah. It's the same um, color and everything here. I think it would go like this. And then this would go in here. That's good because that kind of makes that complete. So, definitely have to take a closer look at this. This was kind of, some of this was kind of men's jewelry in here. All right, Ann got that untangled. So this one is gold. Well, the cross was, let's see. That, we have a marking on it too. It looks like it's gold on the chain here. The rest of this, I don't, it's all the same kind of really yellowish tint that was on that other that I don't, I don't think any of that's gonna be real. But let me check this one right here. It's slightly different. I don't think it's anything that looks too worn. The finish is wearing off. So yeah, we still did end up with three gold necklaces out of, um, I think they were out of this box right here. We got the Roly, 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 Rolex. We got the Hermes. We got some sterling silver. We got gold, we got coins. And there's a lot of boxes and bags in there that we have really most of them we haven't even opened yet. A lot of them are taped up. We never even touched them. We just didn't have the time. So, does anybody think this is real right here? I'm not 100%, but I mean the box is just too, the box is really well done for if it was a fake. The watch looks really good too, and it's still working. I'm gonna get close up there.